What's going on today guys and welcome to Eddie Studios. Today I want to talk about Power Director and how to add those cinnabars so that you have that wide aspect ratio on your video that you maybe didn't shoot in wide. You know what I'm talking about. The bars that show up here and here and they kind of... Alright, that's too much. And they kind of go like that and they make it so your video is wide. You could do it on an extreme close up to kind of give that cool eye look like an anime. Or you could do it so that you're making a room look wider or so that it really pushes down to kind of bring focus into your video. There's lots of different reasons you may want to add those cinnabars to your video. But I'm going to show you the easy way, the easiest way to do it in PowerDirector that makes it so much easier than some of the other ways I've seen out there. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel guys, Subscribe, because some of you guys aren't subscribed and I'm always making videos like weekly on how to edit with your phone, how to shoot better video and all that fun stuff for you budget video shooters out there. So let's get right into this and talk about it at the end. When you enter PowerDirector, you now have the cool option to edit in portrait mode, but what we'll do is we'll add a new project I'm gonna go 16 by nine because that's what I'm talking about here. You can always just start a project in 21 by nine, but that's a whole nother story. We want to make it kind of 21 by nine, but we're gonna do it in a 16 by nine timeline. So let's do 16 by nine. And we're gonna go ahead and add this video clip and hit the check here. And now it lets you edit in the portrait mode, which is super cool. But for this video, we're gonna rotate this and make it the landscape edit mode and all you gotta do is rotate your phone. Now I made a video on this last week, but I did not mention that all you had to do to switch from one to the other was rotate your phone, and it's because I hadn't figured that out yet, but it's super nice that that's all you have to do. Let's move on to how to make these cine bars. And all you're gonna do here is add a color board over the top of your track. Now if you add a color board by hitting the layer button on the left, the third one down on the left, what will happen is it will add the color board underneath and you'll have to resize it. What I like to do, a little trick around that is you add the color board to your main timeline. So we're gonna go to main timeline, add photo, color board, black. It adds it to the end, but then all you have to do is drag it down underneath and it'll be the full size of the screen, which is good for what we're gonna do here because Instead of using two color boards like I've seen other people use, we're gonna use one and then we're gonna mask it. So we're gonna use this one color board, we're gonna add a mask, it's gonna be the rectangle mask, and then we're gonna invert it. And when you invert it, it makes it so that you see everything inside the mask and don't see anything outside the mask. And all we're gonna do here is slide our bars at the top and bottom to make our cinema bars, but we want ours to kinda of come in. So what we can do is just kinda of make them, and here, we'll do, right here and we will resize our mask to have them and you just pick how much you want it to be and you kind of do have to kind of eyeball the top and bottom unfortunately it doesn't really show you a middle of the screen it would kind of be nice if it locked in the middle and said oh here there's the middle um, but it does not. That's okay though. So right here, this looks pretty good and um, it looks kind of like where I want it. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add a keyframe because what we could do is just say, yes, this is what we want it for the whole video, but I don't. I wanna keyframe this so that it kind of comes in because that looks cool. So we're gonna keyframe here where it's all the way and then we're gonna go to the beginning and then we're gonna drag them out so there's no bars. And then if we wanted to, you can make them come out in the end by adding more keyframes or whatever you want to do. And that's how you add cinnamon bars to your video. All right, guys, what'd you think? I think it's super easy to do it this way, and it allows you to just put one color board in there instead of two, and you're only messing with one in the mask, and it's pretty easy to deal with this way. So if you agree, and I, this helped you out a lot, hit that like button, guys. Subscribe to the channel, see more videos like this. I got another one coming next week. But until next week, check out this other video on how to use that new portrait mode in editing and Power Director. Just explains a few things about it, and go shoot something awesome. Don't forget to post it and share your work because it's your artwork and you should be happy to show it off, guys. Peace out. See you next week with another video.